Hey, good morning, good morning, and welcome to this morning's mindset. Lovely to see you back, Karen. Welcome, Nikki. Welcome, Mia. Thank you so much for joining me here this morning. This is where we help virtual assistants level up in their business lifestyle and mindset. We are working on our challenge. Uh, so actually it's our workshop, which then kind of leads into a challenge, but we've got a workshop happening inside virtual co-working space. And this week's topic is basically about how to claim clients in your business. So what this is, is like the missing piece of the puzzle. Like if you are not doing these things, either on an intentional conscious level or a non subconscious level, like non intentional levels, because some we're all natural manifestors, but a lot of the times we, without realizing it, manifesting things in our life that we don't want as in a lack of clients or a lack of income or a lack of success in business. And we will, what we want to do is flip that on its head and make it this a lot more intentional when it comes uh, to creating the business that we truly want to have. So we are unpacking these five keys that are going to help you get there. And these are all things that do not take very long at all. They're very precise, they're very concise. And we're going through one a day during these five days. Today is day three. We've talked about confidence in the first video. So if you weren't around, um, do go and watch that confidence video. It's video one that we did on Sunday. And then yesterday we talked about decisiveness and the imagined act. So what, we, what we're doing is confidence for self-concept, by the way, if you're inside the workshop area watching the training videos, then decisiveness is the imagined act where we go within ourselves and we play out the result so we know this is something we definitely want. So we don't end up in that indecisiveness of, should I do this? Should I do that? Do I want that? Do, do I want this type thing? Okay, so number three is about commitment. So if you go inside a uh, virtual co-working space, virtualmessfriday.com forward slash VC as you will find the training video in there for today in the workshop. Now the training video is all about the process of scripting. And what commitment is, particularly for me, from my perspective, when I script something, I, I commit to it, I solidify it. Now this is not about committing to slaving away till two o'clock in the morning on LinkedIn, trying to send a gazillion messages to make sure you hit that client target. No, it is about really truly getting very clear and very definitive clarity on what it is you're going for. And the universe, God, your higher self really does need this understanding of knowing the end result. So what we do is we script the end result. It's essentially writing it down in a present tense format. It can also be a past tense format, but past and present, basically. I prefer present or a past because obviously this is then putting yourself in the place of being and already having it, being that person who already has it and literally anything. When we, when we don't write things down, when we don't commit to them on paper, we can easily forget what we're trying to aim for. And when I coach people, I do VA coaching. So when, I, when I'm coaching a lot of my VAs, you know, like one lady said to me um, a couple of weeks ago, when I, when I was talking about the self-concept and talking about being the person who already has it, she's like, how do I remember to do that? <laughs> like, how do I remember to be this person? And that's basically saying, I know I'm not the person already. So when you commit to something in writing and you read it every single day, like I usually read, you know, read this before I go to sleep at night and in the morning and sometimes throughout the day to just remind myself who I am and what I've done then this is how you remember it. You impress upon yourself this process of knowing, I already have that successful business. I already have the clients because you've decided it in that present moment. I already have 
what I want. And this is what it is. And I know what it is because I've written it down and committed to it. Now, does this mean to say that you can't change your mind later down the line? No, of course you can change your mind. You can create anything you want. We are constantly doing that. But what happens is, and we've got book club this afternoon, by the way, um, and we're going through the Think and Grow Rich book, which is what I base my mastermind on. And in the Think and Grow Rich book, it's very, very clear that very highly successful people make quick decisions and slow changes. So this is about really understanding, I know what I want, I'm not gonna doubt it, question it, think that maybe I don't deserve it, think that maybe it's a bit above me, think that maybe I need to go for something else. That's that's not what this is about. It's about when you go inside, you do that imaginal act, which we, which we talked about yesterday. And then once you say in your mind, yes, that feels great. I love that. I want that for myself. That imagination act, that image that vision i have in my mind is exactly what i want that's the decision and then the commitment is when you write it down as if it already happened and how you feel and you capture that it's almost like you're taking a photograph of that vision just for the second that that vision in your mind and you're capturing it as the script and i love that it's called scripting because we are literally creating a movie of our life we we playing the characters, we're creating the characters. And that's why I love, I love that they call this act of writing it out scripting, because that's essentially what it is. You are writing another scene in your life. You're writing another scene in the movie and you never have to think, oh, I forgot about that. Or I, you know, like I slipped back into my old ways of negative thinking, blah, 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 because I forgot. Well, no, you can't because you're, you've written this down, you read it every day, sometimes twice a day, sometimes more, and you have committed to that end result. And that is what you are going to get. That is what you are going to get. So quick decisions. Once you decide, don't second guess it. Don't doubt it. Just know that's all you need to do. And it's so funny because we've had comments. Thank you so much for the comments, by the way inside the workshop training videos, inside the virtual co-working space, people have been commenting about these processes and these exercises that I've been guiding you guys through over the last couple of days. And we've had some fantastic comments. I am going to do a video, a separate video, that's gonna to respond to some of those comments because we've had some great ones about how do I figure this out and I have some resistance to this. I mean, really, really good. So I'm gonna do a separate videos and I'm gonna put that video inside the members area. And again, if we get more comments throughout the week as we un unpack this, then I will respond uh, with videos. So basically you need to understand that every moment you are changing, there's a version of you changing. And sometimes you can feel this, you'll, you'll be a certain way one moment, you'll feel a certain thing in a different moment. And that's just different of versions of you changing. But the version that's going to manifest in the outside is a version that you hold on to and commit to. So you're not just committing to this end result. You are also committing that you are the person who already has achieved that end result. That is the commitment. That is why we write this down in pen, in ink, to make it solid, to take it out of here and then make it solid. And that's why we do this scripting process. So inside the training video, inside the members area, I have given you a suggestion of what that might potentially look like, whether it's a certain amount of income, a certain number of clients. You decide what this outcome is for you and you commit that to paper. So go through the video. It's definitely uh, something that is, is going to like help further solidify that clarity from the imaginal act, because sometimes that feels a little bit sketchy. And um, basically what will happen is once you make that commitment, you are then committing to the old version of events where you don't have clients and you don't have the income and you don't have the business and you don't have that. You're committing to those dying out and obstacles will dissolve and solutions will present themselves and answers and direction and guidance and then it's your job to simply follow it so 
This is something else we're going to be unpacking as we go further on in the week. But right now, my point is, is once you have decided what it is, you've got your self-concept, you know who you are, that basically covers all aspects of being able to have a successful business and have clients. You then have your imagined act, which is deciding what you want to happen, not looking outside there, like we talked about before, looking for other people's, uh, you know, other people's manifestations, not looking at other people's lives, not looking at what other people have achieved and how they've achieved it. But you are deciding for yourself what your end result is going to look like. And then today we are committing that to paper. It's very, very simple. It's a couple of lines. You do not have to make this drawn out and you know anything like that. What we're trying to do here is prepare ourselves for the challenge of actually launching our business, basically, because the launch of the business is when you're taking clients. If you're a service provider, coach, consultant, virtual assistant, administrative consultant, whatever it is you do, online business manager, you need those clients in order to have a successful business. You can't, you can have everything in place, a, a website, a systems, processes, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but without that client, the business is not an operational functional business. And this is why we're focusing on clients this week. And this is why we're focusing purely on this because everything else will fall into place once we know the end result is a certain amount of income or a certain number of clients. So go check out that video. Again, do leave me comments underneath because I will be responding to these comments with additional videos and additional information to unpack them. Um, and basically what you need to do is stay true to what it is you're committing now in writing. And you only need to change it, not from doubt or fear or worry or any of those places. You only need to change it if you think, no, I thought of something better. I want something more. Okay, that is, this is the golden rule and the rule is that you only change what you're committing to in your scripting is if you can think of something that's even more wow and even more, oh, I want to add that in or even more, I want, I want something bigger, something better for myself than what I committed to originally. Then you can change your script, but otherwise hold true, stay strong, be the person that has it commit to it, read it every day. So you never have, so you get in that habit. And this is why we're doing the challenge after. So you get in that habit of constantly reminding yourself who you are and what you have achieved. And that literally is what shifts things on the outside. And you will start to see the shifts within yourself first. This is always the first place you will start to notice changes. And then you will start to see things outside. So just know and understand if you're looking outside and looking outside and I don't have the clients, I don't have the income, I don't have the money, I don't have this, nothing's moving, I don't have emails, I'm not doing consultations. Just know you have not shifted first. So you need to stay strong with your commitment. Do not give up on this because it has to happen. It is the law. Okay, go check out that video. Um, Super, super happy with the comments. I'm gonna respond to those now and do a separate video on those. That will be inside the members area. And we'll be back here again tomorrow to unpack the fourth key in getting clients. But key number one, just as a recap, is confidence. Key number two is decisiveness. Key number three is commitment. Two more keys to go. Um, and just remember, if you're wondering, how do I get confidence? How do I become decisive? How do I commit? I've done the training for you inside virtual co-working space. Just go look at the workshop training and you will find all you need to know. So we're going to do accountability. Thank you so much for being here, guys. It's lovely to see you. We'll be back here again tomorrow. Um, in the meantime, get your journals at the ready and have a beautiful day ahead. Thank you so much for being here. Before we begin, don't forget you can join me live online inside Virtual Coworking Space at www.virtualmissfriday.com forward slash VCS. If you enjoy this session, give it a like. I'd love to hear from you, so write me a comment. And so you don't miss any updates, don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. So now we're gonna look for the positive with our gratitude. First, we'll spend one minute thinking of the day before. 
thinking of all the things that happened, reflecting on work, interactions, relationships, memorable moments, and more. Now you'll write one thing down minimum that you're grateful for. You can, of course, write down more. Something good, something that went right, a small moment or a big win. The more you search for things to be grateful for, the more you will experience things to be grateful for. Now we're going to read out your goal. Make sure your goal is written down in a journal or somewhere you can easily access it. Read your goal now, ideally out loud, and commit to this goal. Believe it will happen. And by reading this daily, the universe knows clearly what your goal is and the things begin to shift in the direction of your goal. Follow your instincts when this happens by taking action. Now you need to see your goal in visualization. Spend this minute thinking about the goal in your mind. See yourself taking steps towards the goal or even better still, see yourself having already achieved the goal. Close your eyes and go there. Step into the feeling, step into the place, step into the accomplishment. And finally, it's time for your most important task. Set this task for today and make it relating to your goal. This could be something small like sending an email, recording a video or making a phone call, or it could be bigger. Either way, one task a day is one step forward and those steps will add up. Do what you can from where you are now. Set the intention and the action will carry you towards your goal. Well done you for completing your daily co-create session. Have a fantastic day ahead and I'll see you next time.